If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, or you'll end up looking like this Shawn Michaels head scan over here. Well, he's smiling. You won't be smiling, that's for damn sure. It looks like your head will get ripped off. What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three reviews for you guys and the first one for today, well they may all be posted at the same time. Who, who gives a damn? Right here guys, we have the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels figures. I do not know why, but uh, it took a little bit for these figures to come in. They're finally here, so I am going to be reviewing these. The two-pack of the WrestleMania Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe and Kalisto and Mandy Rose from Elite Series 75 as well as ranking that set, but we're not going to concern ourselves with those figures. We got these Ultimate Editions right here. Are they worth the purchase? What do they look like? How great are they? We're going to find out here today, guys, and we're going to review these two Ultimate Editions. This is Ultimate Edition Series number four. In the first series, we had Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior. In the second series, we had Bret Hart and Shinsuke Nakamura. In the third series, we had Finn Balor and Triple H. And here in Series four, we have Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. And Series five is going to be Becky Lynch and Ric Flair. I want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. And if you want to go over there and get any figures, guys, go ahead and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% on the Ultimate Edition packaging. Same packaging as always. You have the front viewing window. On the side, we do have an image of the Beast and the Heartbreak Kid there. On the back, you get some pretty epic shots of the figures here and here. You got some other info in the lower left. If you want to read either of those, you can pause it now. And then you have a little bio read down there, which I don't know if you can read, but if you can, you can pause it now. Also have another beautiful image of the two talents right there. On the sides, you have their names. And then on the front, we've already covered it, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crock the crock. Let's go ahead and crock the... I guess I was thinking of Brock Lesnar, so I guess uh, let's go ahead and break the Beast Incarnate out of the packaging. So here is the Beast and the Heartbreak Kit out of their packaging, guys. Looking very fantastic, I might add. I am really excited to review both of these. You guys know how we're going to do it. We're going to run through the accessories. We're going to get a close-up view of all of this. And we're also going to take a look at some comparisons, comparing them to other figures that we've gotten of these guys. And just take a look overall if the Ultimate Edition is, you know, ultimately, pun intended, worth it. So what we're going to do is run through Brock Lesnar's accessories and then Brock Lesnar. And then we'll run that thing back and take a closer look at HP. K's accessories and then HBK himself. So getting into Brock Lesnar's accessories guys you will see here we do get three interchangeable heads if you include the one out of the packaging. We also have this cloth t-shirt that I forgot to remove like a stupid idiot jackass. But we'll get into that in just a moment guys. I want to talk about the head sculpts first. Let's talk about this one. Actually we'll cover this one uh, when we get into the you know the review of the figure itself. But you do get three interchangeable head sculpts. You get this one which is just hilarious. Would you just look at this head sculpt right here. What is that right there? I don't know what that is. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. I just feel like it's lacking something. Um, I don't know. It just looks weird or odd. I, I really don't know what to say about that. This one is the same head sculpt that we got with his WrestleMania 32 Elite, which we can compare later on in the video. We'll see that. But uh, if you guys want to interchange it, this is exactly how it's done. You just plug that on there and then just pop it on like so. And there you go. It's on the figure. And then you just can pop it off just like that if you want to remove that head sculpt. And then you got the weird wide-eyed one and uh, this head sculpt. I don't know what's up with this, man. I think that's uh, I just... just just hilarious. They should have made it red. Um, you give it some like pinkish hue that way it looks like he, you know, when, uh, I don't remember, was it Braun Strowman that did that or something when he was like freaking the hell out? I can't remember, but there are the interchangeable head sculpts you get with the Brock Lesnar figure. We're also including a Universal Championship, which we've seen a hundred times. However, this one is more accurate in color. I own a replica of the Universal Championship, and I can tell you for one thing, this strap is a lot more accurate. It's not near as saturated. It's more of a muted, like maroonish red color instead of of the saturated red that you get right here in between. This looks really, really good. And one thing I wanted to see is if you could actually put this around the waist of the figure because you could never do that before, I don't think, with the Universal title. And you still can't do it. So, unfortunate. Also, dude, you do get a beanie cap. 
a uh, you know a nice little beanie cap right there. I don't know which way it goes. Does it go? No, it's this way. It goes on like that. So you know he hasn't worn this in a while, but you do get the little hat we've seen from them before. You also get the Suplex City cutoff tee right there. Welcomes you, Suplex City. Brock Lesnar skull logo there. Looks pretty cool. Very nice with that. I don't think we've ever gotten a sleeveless cloth Brock Lesnar shirt before. I think this is the first one. I think uh, my boy Mike, the wrestling collector, actually pointed out that it would have been awesome if we could have got jogging pants uh, with this figure, you know, to take off of the figure and put on the figure. That would have been really nice to see. They did not include that, so uh, you only get the cloth t-shirt, but at least we got a cloth shirt. And then you get interchangeable hands. This is a very big deal. I don't think a Brock Lesnar figure has ever come with interchangeable fists. However, this one does as you guys can see you got Lesnar right there balled up fist so you can punch the hell out of people you also get the choke slamming interchangeable hands and then you get the mic grabbing hands so you get mic grabbing choke slamming and fists which I love super happy to get those fists but that is pretty much what you get for his accessories as far as the ultimate edition Brock Lesnar goes guys so now that we've covered his accessories let's dive into the beast incarnate himself all right, guys, so getting into Brock Lesnar himself, we're going to take a look at the head sculpt right here, guys, and I am going to say I think this is a great head sculpt. I think this is a redone head sculpt that they've done before, if I'm not mistaken. I think we have seen this head sculpt before, but it does look good. I think it's a great blank expression. It works perfectly for Brock. I think it looks just like him. I'm a big fan of this, and overall, I think it works great. I like the haircut and everything going on with it. Going down into the torso, this is what's different about, you know, an Ultimate Edition compared to an Elite as the ab crunch is hidden a lot better as far as that's concerned, but the articulation typically is not. You guys can see here that uh, he doesn't really crunch forward that much as much as he would on a regular Elite Brock Lesnar. However, you do get this like waist pivoting here like this. You get a little like a swivel slash pivot in the waist right there, so that's very nice to see. Um, I like the way this Brock looks. I love the way they did the little V cut here at the bottom of the hip. You guys can see that at the very bottom right here, that little V cut. Very accurate to Brock Lesnar as you can see right there, so that's it's very cool that they got a, a pretty much identical sculpt to Brock Lesnar, and I love how the tattoo continues there on the torso as well. Overall, just really good stuff, man. I think they did a really excellent job with this Brock, and it... I don't want to say this too fast, but uh, this is turning out to be one of my favorite Ultimate Editions already. I just like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. Um, everything like that. I feel like the arms are a little bit too small, to be honest. I feel like the arms could be a little bit thicker, especially compared to his other figures. Like, his arms, I felt, were pretty perfect as far as size is concerned. You do get the double-jointed arms. You got the fists with the wrist gauntlets on there. Very nice again. Uh, again, I just wish those biceps. Maybe we could switch out those biceps for his elite biceps. I'm not sure about that i have to double check that going down to the shorts regular shorts that we've seen double jointed knees obviously same thing you got his skulls on the shorts as we know and on the butt cheeks we also have these boots here that are very similar to ronda rousey's they have the toe articulation so this is a new sculpt though they are bigger than ronda rousey's and they look great i think they did a good job on these as well just overall really feeling this brock man i, I really really do like it in the next segment we are going to compare his figure so we'll, we'll see about that in comparison but overall this is looking like to me the best Brock Lesnar figure that we've ever gotten from Mattel. But uh, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some Brock Lesnar elite figure comparisons. So for your Brock Lesnar Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Ultimate Edition in the middle. We have the WrestleMania 32 Elite. We have my promo attire slash uh, whatever that street gear attire Brock Lesnar. GameStop exclusive with a head swap and then the ringside exclusive. And this is obviously the same head sculpt that we got. Where the hell did that go? Did that fall on the floor? Where is it? Jesus Christ. Oh, here it is. So this is, oh, so this is the head sculpt that is on that WrestleMania 32. It just has slightly different painted eyes, and but I mean, pretty much it looks the exact same. But overall, guys, I just like the beefiness of these arms, as you can see, and you can't switch it because the these uh, the upper bicep doesn't have a peg hole. I don't know how the hell I would swing it. I mean, I guess I could attempt to try to make it double jointed, but I don't think it would work because it doesn't have the peg hole up here. So that's unfortunate. I don't think it'll work. I think it'll only work with lower arms. So that is bummy, but overall, I like the Lesnar, man. I think the Ultimate Edition Lesnar is the best Brock Lesnar figure we've ever gotten from Mattel. I just love the feel of it. And if you own it, you know what I'm talking about. I just love the torso and how it sits. 
it's an excellent release, man. I really like it. You don't get all the great accessories with it, but just feeling the figure, it feels phenomenal. So getting into Shawn Michaels' accessories, guys, these are very nice. I am excited about this. Here is the interchangeable head sculpt, which uh, I think is the better of the two. We'll take a closer look at the other one when we take a closer look at Shawn Michaels himself here. But we do have this mouth wide open, kind of like, you know, when he does his pose in the middle of the ring, which is pretty cool. I like that. I did not know this hair sculpt was like this, and this had a separate ponytail. For some stupid reason, I thought that he had a ponytail, and I don't know what's, I mean, he has a ponytail, but I thought it was like the WrestleMania 12 one, you know, where it's just a straight back regular ponytail, so I'm happy to see that this sculpt is not like that. Uh, it would have been nice to see these hair ties in red or black. That would have been nice, so they even left off that paint detail right there on the hair ties, so that's unfortunate. Going to have to definitely fix that up, but this head sculpt looks much better than the other one, which we'll get into, but he also has suck it hands, so you have the suck it hands, and you can do like right before he does the pose in the middle of the ring, you can do this, you know, he's like kind of stretching out and then bam, makes the fist. So, you know, uh, those hands will come and then he'll go bam and he'll do the flexing in the middle of the ring with his interchangeable fist. And out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands. But here is the moneymaker for this thing. The entrance freaking gear that can also work for mid-2000s Ruthless Aggression era uh, Shawn Michaels. This looks beautiful. It does have the, uh, obviously you open it up like that, you put it on the figure and it looks great. I'm really excited for this. I think people can do some cool fix-ups with it. So I am looking forward to that and uh, no, this isn't even the best part about it guys he actually comes with the chaps and the chaps are made of that nice soft material that we saw with his entrance greats figure from a long time ago his uh and and it does have the waist on there and it does undo right there at the waist and you clip it onto the figure he has the chaps really excited for this man this looks excellent and they have all the graphics on there really soft uh like pleathery material uh has some stretch to it not gonna tear looks great i think Mattel did an excellent job on this for this Ultimate Edition. So this uh, this HBK's accessories are great. Very happy with them. I don't think you get as much as you do with Brock Lesnar, but that's not a biggie to me. But that does it for Shawn Michaels' accessories, guys. Let's get into Shawn Michaels himself. So getting into Shawn Michaels, guys, I gotta be real with you. This head sculpt to me just does not look like Shawn Michaels. I don't know what they were going for with this one, but I am not seeing it. Um, I think the WrestleMania 30 Elite Shawn Michaels is a much stronger figure. Um, overall, just not a fan of this figure. I think also, like, there's just, it feels like this is just a bit gappy. Um, I know his hair's pulled back, but I just feel like something's missing right in this area as well. But uh, overall, I just don't see Shawn Michaels here. Maybe a little bit if you hair swapped it or something, but just, I don't know, man, just doesn't miss. Uh, especially for, like, an Ultimate Edition, I'm just not getting the likeness that I would like to see. Going into the torso, I like the torso here. I like what they got going on. Again, it still has that issue, though. I, I just wish that, I think this looks like HBK's torso. I just wish that it had a better ab crunch. Uh, you do get the double jointed arms. I think these are the same arms we saw with Bret Hart. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the same skin tone at least. Shoulders a little bit loose there, but overall I like the double jointed look for these arms. I love these tights. I think these tights are brilliant. One thing I may do is add in some glitter red to there to make it more accurate. You got the heartbreak kit on the butt. You got the hearts all over it, obviously. Love the open knee pads. We got some open knee pads with our Shawn Michaels. I think that's like a first. I don't remember ever seeing that besides maybe the entrance grates. You got the double jointed knees, obviously. You do have this white lip here at the top, which is accurate to the boots, but his boots, I mean, they're hard to do. You know, they always give him the kick pads with the flaps painted on, which isn't a huge deal. I'd love to see them give us a brand new sculpt for that, to be honest with you. But overall, I do like the look of the figure. I love this attire, and again, you could head swap this and make this, or an arm swap and a, and a head swap away from easily making this into like a Ruthless Aggression era Shawn Michaels if you wanted to do that. You also get the toe flip there. But overall, I'm enjoying it, man. I like the Shawn Michaels. I'm just not big on this head sculpt. Uh, maybe I'll head swap it or something, but uh, that is pretty much it for our Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition figure. So for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels in the middle, the Basic 100 on the right, the Ringside Exclusive DX Shawn Michaels with the WrestleMania head swap. We have the fix-up little Elite 19 Shawn Michaels fix-up custom Ruthless Aggression era, and then we have our Entrance Greats WrestleMania 12 Elite Shawn Michaels fix-up, and overall, I think I like this head sculpt best for this figure. I think if you want to swap out head sculpts, this one will work, or the basic 100. I'm just not feeling this head sculpt. Actually, in all reality, this head sculpt, this head sculpt, or this head sculpt will work with this figure. Hell, even this figure's head sculpt is better than this one. I am just not a fan of this one at all. Uh, I, I like the mouth open one, but as far as I'm concerned, all the rest of them look a lot more like Shawn Michaels. They have a lot better likeness to them, and I'm probably going to put the basic 100 one over here uh, just for the time being. I think it works really well for it and stuff like that, so... 
I want an elite like this though. Give us this in elite form or ultimate. I don't I don't give a damn. Which makes me think, what if we got an ultimate edition chase variant? Now that'd be badassery. But anyways, guys, I like the way all these look. Uh, I love Shawn Michaels. I wish I had more figures of him. I'm trying my best to track those down, but that does it for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons. But that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition review on the Ultimate Edition Series 4 Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I'd highly recommend both, you know. I think with a great head swap on the Shawn Michaels, it'd be very easy to fix that not good head skin. And this one over here that's got that head sculpt on it, I think that works anyway. I really like that head sculpt. And uh, the smiling one is, yeah, just just not good. However, the Brock Lesnar is the best Brock Lesnar they've ever released. I, I just 10 out of 10 really, really do love love it. I mean, uh, they're not going to fix the Ultimate Edition articulation anytime soon. At least I don't think so. So that is just something to think about, guys. But that is pretty much going to do it, guys. Again, highly recommend it. If you want to pick up either of these figures, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use that promo code MDTOYS. You will save yourselves 10%. They also have some good sales going on over there all the time, and you can get in on some great stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Check out the rest of the reviews being posted today. If they're not already up, then just wait a few more minutes and they'll be up and if they're already up then what are you waiting for brad go over there and watch them right now but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel again and subscribe thanks